Want to see another colony? Well, today we're going to have a close-up look at this particular species of Camponotus. So stay tuned. So here's the setup that I have for this uh, Camponotus colony. Now this colony is the Camponotus aneophilosis. Hope I pronounced that one right for everybody. So as we can see I've got an outworld attached. I have a test tube on the right and then on the left I actually have the nest. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at this colony. Now a little bit of a background. This colony I caught the queen originally on the 23rd of November 2017. So I've made this outworld for them. Um, they've expanded quite quickly, especially over this, um, this summer and spring. You can see here, I've got the nest on the left there, test tube with water on the right for them. Now they love this outworld. I've tried to make it fairly basic so we can see inside. So here we have the nest located on the left. Now this is an acrylic nest by Oz Ants. Um, it's the older style. As you can see, it's got the gate structure and it's only one of the very small ones, um, but they seem to like it. Quite a well um, designed nest, um, nice and comfy, even though this colony has expanded now to 56 workers and two of those are majors. So that is really well, uh, a lot of growth. So I'll explain a little bit more about the uh, colony and its progression, but uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do some close-up macro photos, uh, videos, and you'll get to see the majors there as well. So as I said, on the 23rd of November 2017 is when I caught her. She laid her first egg two days later, and um, they kept them in the I kept her in the test tube set up for quite a while, and then as of the 21st of December. 2017 she had 12 eggs and here she is Queen Abigail as named by my five-year-old daughter um, so the very first Queen I had and uh, she loved ants at that stage she still does like them now and then so the colony progressed uh, quite nicely um, as I said it was in November and spring so they had a little bit of activity going on um, leading up into winter so it was the 15th of January um, that the first ant actually hatched um, out of the cocoon as well. So that's nearly two months later since laying that first egg. Um, it just started going and going from there. Just more and more eggs uh, were being laid and more and more workers were hatching. So the current size of my colony now, there's actually 54 workers and two majors inside here. So. Uh, been fascinating to watch the journey these ants are really good to keep um, they're very good species to observe got some beautiful coloring there as well quite, of, quite often these are referred to as the golden bum ants and you can clearly see why uh, looking here in the uh, film so here they are just uh, tending to the brood to the larvae um, they do transfer them around quite a bit now their numbers have grown uh, significantly, they tend to stay in the acrylic nest. When their numbers were small, they'd actually transfer in, uh, between the actual acrylic nest and the test tube set up as well, so back and forwards quite a bit. But now they're uh, nicely at home inside this nest. Okay, let's have a look at the major. Here we go. Look at the size of that massive head. And quite often you'll find the majors, there's two of them actually here. Uh, in this nest in the colony. These uh, majors will be found right near the entrance uh, to the nest, uh, guarding it. So look at the size difference there between the head of the major there and the worker next to it. They are huge. Excellent to watch these guys walking around. Haven't seen them uh, leave the nest yet as, as of yet uh, to go out. Uh, all the workers are out and about and looking around at the food. Now food for these guys, a little bit of a mixture. Um, I do give them honey, watered down honey and also sugar water, which they quite like. After a little while though, they'll pile that sand and little pebbles up on, on top of the, the leftover honey that is there as well. Um, not quite sure why, I, I presume they're getting rid of it so that nobody else can come along and get it as well. 
Other things that they do enjoy though, crickets. Um, I buy crickets and I feed them to them. They love that and also the mealworms. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little look at the colony of Campanotus. Um, excellent colony, I love this colony. It's been a joy to keep these ants and I do recommend them. Um, they're very active ants. So thanks very much for watching the video so far, guys. Um, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I've got a couple more videos that will be uploaded uh, soon as well and um, be able to enjoy that content. So thanks very much. Any comments, I'd appreciate some feedback on if you've, if you've had this species before yourselves and how you've found them uh, to actually keep as well. Awesome guys, thanks very much and happy ant keeping.